everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday and I'm celebrating by making an apple pie. But not just any apple pie, it's a classic French apple tart called Tarte Tatin. The reason that I decided to make this tart for my birthday is because it's full on apple season here in Ontario and I wanted to take advantage of apple picking and using an ingredient that's currently in season. I encourage everybody to eat seasonally for the best flavor. For this recipe, I'm going to break out Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking book and we'll turn to page 638 uh, to find this recipe. But to make it easier for you guys, if you don't have this book, you should go get one. But if you can't get one, the ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions are in the description box down below. Let's preheat the oven to 375 and get started. While the oven is preheating at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll peel the apples one by one. We'll cut out the core and chop up the apples into thinly sliced pieces of fairly equal shapes. Toss the apple slices in cinnamon, sugar, and lemon juice and set aside. Let's butter our baking dish heavily, especially on the bottom. I like to also sprinkle semolina over the butter to ensure an easy transfer onto our plate at the end of this recipe. Sprinkle sugar in the bottom of the dish and arrange apples over top. Then we'll pour some melted butter over top and repeat again with the apples, butter and apples and butter. Then we'll sprinkle the rest of the sugar over the apples. Prior to placing this apple tart into the oven, we'll roll out some pastry dough to about 1 8 of an inch thick. Ensure that it is approximately the same diameter as the baking dish. Place the rolled dough over top of the baking dish with the apple pie inside of it and cut off the excess dough. Tuck the dough in between the filling and the edge of the pie plate. Also dock the pastry with a few little holes in order to allow steam to escape. What I've done here is I've used the excess dough to make a little rose to put it in the middle of the pie, but you can do whatever else you want with that extra dough. Place it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. I just took it out of the oven a couple of minutes ago, so let's see how it turns out. Literally. <laughs> Oh, that smells absolutely amazing and it's still steaming and all I smell is cinnamon and apples and just so much happiness right now. I can't wait to try this. Time to cut into this amazing cake and I'm really sad to cut into it because it looks beautiful but I really want to try it so let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, this is so good. It's tart and sweet and you can taste that little bit of cinnamon and the flavor of the apples that I used is just exponentially enhanced by cooking it in this way um, with the different, you know, the butter, the sugar, the cinnamon. It really brings out the apple's best flavors. This is a perfect birthday gift to myself. I hope you guys enjoyed today's special birthday video. This recipe is absolutely excellent for any sort of gathering or celebration, and it's probably the simplest French apple dessert that you can make. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this recipe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment down below your favorite French dessert. Also, follow me on Instagram at Greco Recipes. Bye, have a great day.